Timothy, are you ready to learn about burettes today? Let's go check out our friend Chelsea in the lab. This is how you fill a burette. No, no, Chelsea, that's not how you do it. Use this to prevent spills. No, Chelsea, you have to close the stop cock. You have to turn it so it's parallel with the table. Good job. Now let's start the titration. How do I control Wait, Chelsea, you have to measure the initial volume. Why? If you don't record the initial volume, how are you supposed to know how much solution we are using to titrate? So, is it 24.3? No, it's actually 23.6. You're reading it backwards. 23.6 it is. But how do I control the flow? If you slowly turn the stop clock, you can control it so that only a few drops of solution come out. Really? Is it like this? Yes, having a few drops come out, you can immediately stop the solution from coming out and have the exact volume needed. <sighs> now I know how to do titrations! Good job, Chelsea! And now, kids, do you know how to use a burette? 